Hello, my crafty friends. This is Michelle with the Southern Shell, and I'm here with another Talk It Out Tuesday. And we are in James, and this is chapter 2 and verse 8 through 12. Now, guys, this was a hard one for me because, I mean, it's, it's hard for, for us to admit that our sins are just as great as those that are around us. Um, it says in James 2, in the NLT version, verse 8 through 12, Yes, indeed, it is good when you obey the royal law as found in the scriptures. Love your neighbor as yourself. But if you favor some people over others, you are committing a sin. You are guilty of breaking the law. For the person who keeps all the laws except one is as guilty as the person who has broken all of God's laws. For the same God who said you must not commit adultery also said you must not murder. So if you murder someone but do not commit adultery, you still have broken the law. So whatever you say or whatever you do, remember that you will be judged by the law that sets you free. In healthcare, you know, if you go to the doctor and, you know, they check you out and you, you, or if you're in a nursing home and, um, you know, you don't want somebody to see your bottom. Well, one of the things that used to be said is a butt is a butt is a butt. You know, if some of these nurses or doctors see a lot of different things throughout the day. And, you know, yes, it's for you, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm exposed, I'm, I'm hurting or whatever it happens to be. Um, and that same type of principle applies here. Um, a butt is a butt is a butt. A sin is a sin is a sin. So it's not going to matter whether you said a little white lie or if you've committed murder. If you um, committed adultery or you've committed... Um, I mean, there's just, you know, this, there's just so many out there. It's like, ah. But, guys, I sin every day. Um, and so it's really, it's really hard to not say, well, I'm not as bad as this person. I may, I may tell a little white lie here or there. Or I may, um, I may not like my neighbor over here. Um, but at least I'm not this. Or at least I'm not that. Well, guys, it, it doesn't matter. A sin is a sin is a sin. And that is sometimes really hard for us to grasp. At least it is for me. Um, and, you know, we all have fallen short of the glory of God. We all have sinned. So what I'm doing today is I have a blue base. I have a green bottom here. And I have my white clouds. And I'm just going to go ahead and put those down on my blue base. And this is my sky. This is my grass. This is representing my earth. My, um, my stationary part down here. And this is where our sins take place. Um, and then my clouds up here are representing the heavens. There are no sin. There is no sin in heaven. There's no lying. There's no guilt. There's no gossip. Um, there's no um, coveting. There's no pride. There's no lust. It is heaven. But this is also where we're going to be judged for our sins. But, like I had said, we have, you know, we have decided that we have different levels of sin. And so we have decided that I'm not as bad as the glutton, or I'm not as bad as... Um, I don't like gossip, so I'm not going to participate in that. But you turn around and you're talking bad about that person who's gossiping. Um, it's, in God's eyes, a sin is a sin is a sin. 
And if you've broken one law, you've broken all of the laws. There is no weight. But we, as Christians, tend to think, well, I'm just going to tell a little white lie, and that's not going to be so bad. It's just a little white lie. And, you know, at least I'm not over there with so-and-so committing adultery, um, which is, you know, I'm married to the man I'm living with, so I'm not committing adultery. I'm not fornicating. Or I am not that glutton. You know, I am not one that's going to be out there and I'm not going to overeat. I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to bless my food. Um, I'm, I'm not as bad as that. I am not, I am not a, um, goodness, you know, you, you get like, ooh, mind boggled here. There are just so many different ones that we can just put a higher weight on, um, that we don't tend to think that we're as bad as that person. Um, I, I don't, I don't commit adultery or I don't participate in gossip, but I don't want to sit next to that poor person in church because they're not dressed right. Or I don't want to, I don't want to go to that Sunday school class because I don't think that the person who's teaching it has the right clothes on for that. They should be dressed differently. At the church potluck, you don't want to participate or let your children play with certain kids because that family may not have as much money as you. Or you're poor and you don't want to associate with those who have money because they just make you look bad and you don't want to look bad. You're judging them because they have um, more money or more or better circumstances than you. We become very judgmental and I'm just going to try to grab some more on here. And what I'm trying to say is, look, it's all, it's all the same here. It's all, all these sins, when we sin, I'm going to put this on here. These are all different sins, and we want to make sure that our road to heaven doesn't have these sins on it. Now, I know this sounds, you know, may, may not come, come to you quite yet, but I'm going to show you what I'm, what I'm doing here. Um, you know, the road to heaven straight and narrow but you know it's it's got a very small opening it you know it's just like going through um the eye of a needle it's coming off the bottom i need to get a crimping bead down there or a seed bead all right my lovelies i went ahead and got a couple bead cap covers to go ahead and cover over my little areas here um let me show it show you what these look like these are, um, they cover over your little seed bead at the end of, if you're making jewelry or anything, but it still gives you a little part here that you can, um, you have your jump ring. So I'm going to use those over where I've placed my, um, my knot. Very easy to use. So I'm going to zoom in. And we're just going to place it over and make sure that that knot, usually that's a little, um, uh, little seed bead. But I'm going to use this one on a knot and I'm going to bring in my little crimping tool and I'm just going to squeeze that closed. And there we have it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then the tail end I'm just going to feed right into those um those beads there's plenty of room so 
go ahead and do another one on this end. So that's going to go over fumbly hands early in the morning. Nice and tight. Feed that extra line All right down in there. Okay. So now I have my beads, all different colors, all different sins. And I'm going to get my clouds, little adhesive, and I have my clouds here, and I have, just take my scissors, and I'm going to go ahead and trim dry clouds nice and, nice and fluffy. I'm going to put just this foam tape across the top and then I'm going to take some and go across the bottom and I'll leave an opening so again some across the bottom leave that opening and I'm going to now just get this attached down and in order to do that, I'm going to take another thin strip, and this is going to go right over, right over that crimp bead, right at the top there, and right across, right there, nice and down, nice and secure, and another one down here at the bottom. right across that bottom. Now I'm just going to build up my clouds and my grass around this. My backing. scissors here to make this look like wavy grass. Some decorative scissors. Doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. But I'm going to I'm going to add some foam onto the ends here. And then along the bottom. And put a little bit on the sides here because I already have it up there. So I'm just going to build it up here. There we go. Pull off that back. This is going to go right over. So now we have do my other white piece here. And that's going to go right over the top of that. Make sure it's covering up that adhesive right on there. And now we just have a layered cloud effect. We're going to finish building our grass. And I have some different colors of the green here. So I'm going to do another one. And this one's going to go underneath, and I'm going to do the waves a, well, waves a different direction. Have it across the bottom. And I'm also going to put it across the bottom of, or kind of like in the middle bottom of this one, because it's going to go right on top of there. We'll do one last one after I get these on. And one last one. And 
is going to go down here on that bottom piece. I'm just going to leave it. This is fairly simple. We just have layers. We see a lot of times life is just as simple. Our sins. Ah, I just did a little white lie. That's not as bad as murder or adultery or gossip. I'm just going to tell a little white lie. So I'm going to take that little white lie and I'm going to tell it. But look what happens. They're all attached. They're all the same. Murder. It's still, it's still a white lie. It's still attached. It's, it's, they're not weighted sins. There is not different weights. I mean, we have murder in the first degree, in the second degree, in the third degree. We have them weighted. They are not weighted. Sins are not weighted in God. So when you tell a white lie and you're like, Lord, I'm sorry, by grace, we line back up. But should have pulled that a little tighter. Um, by grace, we line back up. But our sins are, they're all the same. A sin is a sin is a sin. There's nothing but God's grace that is going to allow us to get to heaven. The royal law is love your neighbor as yourself. Love, and, and if you don't, if you don't, uphold that law it is the same as murder it's the same as adultery it is the same as lying it's the same as gossiping it's the same so by God's grace he lines us up and we can still get to heaven because his grace is sufficient I hope that makes sense that's kind of what came to my mind so I'm going to go ahead and put my scripture on here and get this mounted in my book. Well, it's like, like it's a little more simple. I've had a rough week, but I tell you, sometimes God gives me the little things, and sometimes it is the simplest things that that make us make us remember what what we're here for. We're here to love our neighbors and to glorify God. And white lies are the same. And people are going to look at us as Christian. Well, that was a lie. You're a Christian. Well. It, being a Christian doesn't make me perfect. It, it just makes me know and it, gives, it makes me saved by grace. I'm not perfect. I'm not condemned. I'm convicted when I commit a sin. God convicts our hearts and he tells us, go and sin no more. He doesn't, well, you've sinned, you're just, you're gone. The um, adultery, the adulteress that was drug out into the center and all the men are, and when it was men that was there, you know, were, they were told to stone her to death. And, you know, Jesus drew in, in the sand. He, he drew, started writing some words. And one by one, those men started leaving. And it's, they started leaving oldest to the youngest. And he asked the lady, so where are your condemners? And they have all left. And he told her, go and sin no more. His grace was sufficient for her. And thank God, praise you. Thank you, Jesus. Your grace is sufficient for me. We are saved by grace. And thank you so much for joining me today. I know this um, is um, being uploaded a little late. Uh, I usually do them, you know, uh, Sunday evening, Monday morning to get them um, ready to go. But many of you know that I had a, <laughs> I want to say a boating accident, but it was my own, my own fault. I fell and fell getting on our boat and I'm pretty bruised up and I've got to go to the dentist now <laughs> because I hit my chin on the edge of the fiberglass boat and I've got some damaged teeth. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that bell notification if you'd like to know when I'm uploading a new video. As always, stay safe, God bless, and bye for now.